Welcome back to another video for Larry's Fountain Pens. I've got some requests to do a pen clean out and I've done several in the past but for some reason I've been getting emails asking about this. Uh, so let's go ahead and le let's do a quick one okay uh, and this is how I clean out my fountain pens now. I brought everything but my toothbrush, but that's okay. I'll explain to that later. So here's a Junhao 994, remember? And I made this into an eyedropper. Well, I found out that this cannot be an eyedropper because it leaks. On the very, very bottom, there's a little bitty pinhead drop. Uh, like Just like a little pinhead, very small. And it just, little leak will, drops will come out. And just slowly but surely so you can't make it into a eyedropper so and it does come with a converter so let's go ahead and clean it out now if I was in the bathroom in the sink I would do it like this of course I already got the ink out okay so I would hold my nib and grip like this under the faucet and turn the faucet with the water on and let it flush through real good it cleans out it does really a good job for me. This is how I do mine. And this is how I will continue to do mine. It gets back in the grip and down in that feed real good and just, just cleans out uh, any debris that's in the feed. Then I have a soft brush that I just brush over a few times to make sure that if there's any junk in there, it'll clear it out. So, you know, I, I want my feet and nip clear of any kind of debris. I'm, I'm really picky on that. That's a must for me. You know, if you have your, your feet or, or nib clogged up in any way, you're going to get some bad riding experience, and we don't want that, do we? So, okay, so I flush it out real good, right? Okay. Since uh, I'm not going to do it, I'm just, for right now, I'm just going to put that in there right now and let it soak in there. Boy, you can see that turning colors. Okay, so I would have my barrel under the faucet doing the same thing, letting the water run in and empty it. So since I'm in here, I'm just going to do this and get it going. Look at that. Get it cleaned out. Is it a messy job? Ah, it can be. But that's okay. It's your pins. And, you know, we love our pins, so we go the extra mile for it. And I have been asked, does the other Jin Hao 994s, uh, have I tried them for eyedroppers yet? No, I haven't. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if they're all that way or just uh, a few of them that, you know, didn't make a quality control check or whatever. But uh, this one definitely, then I do it like this, definitely. didn't make it now that's looking really good really good there okay so we're done with that now next your cap let's clean that up while we're at it because usually there's ink that gets in there like you see there yeah there's plenty that goes in there good enough now let's get this little baby out boy that that had some ink in there look at that but see that wouldn't have been happening if I had this under the sink it would flush it out real good so okay now let's get busy here I have my bulb syringe right I'm gonna stick it in right there the great part where the converter goes and I'm going to squeeze it gently. And what I want to do is see that water just run out clear. Now you want to do this 
make sure it's cleaned out thoroughly if you're going to change colors. Right now I have blue in it, so if I'm going to go orange or green or red, yellow, pink, I want to make sure that this is cleaned out thoroughly. And you can see it running clear. And just pretend I have a brush and I'm brushing uh, with a soft brush real easy over the feet. So, now, that takes care of all that so far. Let me set this aside because we're not quite done yet. It can be a process. And you want to get a tissue. Kind of dry out your nib, getting the water that's still in there. Or hold on to your grip. This is how I do it. And really, get that water out. You want to make sure you don't hit the sink and hit that nib on anything or it'll ruin it. Or you don't want to let it slip out of your fingers. And I've been doing this, this for, what, little, almost four years now? So... This is how I do mine, and I shall continue to do mine this way. And you can see that drops of water still in there. And I'll get to that in a minute. So tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Is everybody ready for Valentine's Day? Well, how about you, Mr. Announcer? I'm getting there. Oh, wow. All right. So now I'm making sure that the barrel is cleaned out. That's just me because I just want my pens well taken care of. I don't care if they're 89 cents. They're a fountain pen. And for me, this is what I love to do. So I like to take care of my stuff. That's pretty much clean. Now I'm going to go as far as I can with these. Get it down there good. And you don't have to be as thorough as this. This is just me. And then later I will find the converter for this. Because I am going to put the converter back in it. And I'll do that later. So, now let's go ahead and wipe that off. Like I said, I'll put the converter back in it later, and it will be ready to go, and that's all there is to it. Now, real quick, this is the yarn, and on the converter, what I do is I stick it in the water, and then I shake it up real good. And I better get this because Covey, our assistant, is down there watching. So. And this is how I clean my converters out. I'll do it again. You just want to make sure you don't spill water everywhere. It's best to do this in the sink, in your kitchen, or your bathroom. But, I'm doing it in here just for y'all, because y'all are special. So, and this looks pretty much clean here. Good, good. Alright, I'm almost done here. I'm going to do this the same way. Let that get in there. Yeah. Because it's going to be a little bit different to clean. So while that's soaking it up a little bit, let's go ahead and get this cleaned out. Look at that. Saw that? Bunch of ink in there. Watch. There. That's nasty in there. I want to make sure that little jewel's clean. There we go. And I 
just get my Q-tip, get in there and clean it out. I need to get a little light to look in there, I know. Okay, now let's get this little jewel out. So here is going to be a, a tricky one. And I'll show you why in a minute. Because the way the slits are that goes into the grip for the feed right in there, I stick my bulb in there and I kind of put my fingers on each side because it's going to squirt everywhere. Nice and slow. If I take my fingers off, water will go everywhere. Trust me, it will. Don't believe me? Try it. That's running nice and clear, so that's good. So we're done with that. Now I've let these pins set up for four days. And I usually clean my pens when they run out of ink that day or the next day. I just did this to show you and explain to you. Uh, you know, you don't have to clean out your pen right then. You don't have to clean out your pen the next day. But you want to clean it out uh, as soon as possible. Just, you know, the better hygiene for your pen, the longer survival rate for your pen. We want to take care of our things. You know, pens cost money. So this little jewel is ready to go into action again. There we go. Get that water out. There you have it. Both clean. Ready to go. Now, if you're going to use the same ink color, you don't have to clean it out unless you just want to. I don't. But after the third, fourth time I re-ink my pen, I like to give it a, a good rinse out with the water. Some recommend you use distilled water. Uh, I don't. I just use regular tap water. There's the minerals in that water. If it's good enough for me to drink, it's good enough for my pens to get cleaned out. So I don't use distilled water. Don't need to over here. So, uh, but remember now, when you change ink colors, give it a good cleaning. Do I ever use a pen flush? I do use a pen flush periodically. Just depends on the pen. You know how long I've used it, the inks. Again, when you're using the same color, for me, I recommend that you at least just rinse it out. On your third or fourth time, you're going to re-ink the pen just to make sure that the feet and nib are clear of any kind of debris that could get in the way that could cause your pen not to write as well as it should and have any kind of uh, problems like ink skips or it dries up real fast or the pen's not putting down enough ink or you're having whatever problem you're going to have. You know, that's why I do mine. Does it work all the time? Yeah, but sometimes you're going to have those problems regardless. It's a fountain pen, okay? That's what we're in. So. I hope this has helped you for all those people that have emailed me about this. And this is how I do it. My other video, I am doing it in the bathroom. And uh, I hope this helps everybody. Uh, especially you new people that are coming aboard. And welcome everybody. Welcome to all you newbies out there. Once you get a taste of this, be careful. The rabbit hole is just around the corner. Take care, and thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your support. Until next time, be safe, and don't text and drive. See ya. Bye. Peace.